still a trail. That's thunder. The shower, baby. What's going on guys? It's Alex here with Northern Scavenger and we're here for another backcountry adventure. We're expecting some uh, thunderstorms to be rolling in at some point this afternoon. It is smoking hot out here. It is 30 degrees, feels like 38 or 39 degrees. Like I am absolutely sweating just through my shirt. I actually put on my bathing suit just because it was, it was so hot. So really looking forward to getting out there. Uh, this is my first time having dehydrated foods. You're more nervous for this? I don't know, I feel like it could be like chalky or something. Like, I don't, I don't know. Kinda looks like a bunch of animal crackers and water. Yeah. On these scorching, scorching days, even though the sun's not out right now, it's just very, very humid. It's very important to stay hydrated. You'll quickly notice yourself getting fatigued. And I find on these trips, you're a lot more in tune with that because you're, it's so physical and you're always doing activities like on a portage or something like that. If you don't keep up with your hydration, you wait until you're feeling it you're feeling tired, you're feeling fatigued before you actually address drinking water or having a snack and staying, you know, full and uh, the nutrition and hydration is so important out here. So we've just stopped for a minute to have a sip of water or maybe a good slug actually. I'm thinking we, uh, we go check out if there's that trail. This kind of looks like a trail, eh? Yeah. Well, we were trying to find a river that would make this portage a little bit shorter. Looks like that river does not exist at this time of year. The water's too low. So we're going to have to portage around. Looks like we've got about two kilometer portage here now, uh, but it's really our only portage that we have to do on this trip. It's time to let the portaging begin. A new piece of gear that I've been bringing on trips with me is these silicone straps. These are Voile straps. I don't know if I'm saying that right. These ones I ordered directly from this company, Voile, on their website, but uh, I think uh, Mech has a version of these called Titan straps, I believe, and they are just awesome for securing all of your paddles together. You can have a nice tight little bunch of stuff that you can uh, carry across, and it basically helps uh, reduce all the little loose items. I put my fishing rods usually in there, I put my paddles, and I bunch them all up together, and then I carry them across. Little froggies in there. We are still in the race against the weather that is coming in, so hopefully be able to set up our camp before the thunderstorm comes in. <laughs> I'm so sweaty. I'm like soaked. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm worth it. For a swim. Yeah, me too. Holy and smokes. Clean off. All right, so we are very close to the end of this portage. But we found a beautiful little area in here and we thought we're getting a little hungry. Might as well take a breather and have a little bit of lunch. Sid just couldn't wait another minute to get her paws on this dehydrated hummus. Okay, I actually need you to open it a little bit. 
<laughs> it got sealed? Yeah. Come on, give it a good one. I have no strength left. How bad do you want the hummus? <laughs> okay, here. Just leaving here to die. <laughs> okay, are you ready? The big reveal? All right, I think I'm ready. Whoa. How's it looking? A little chunky still? A Might lot need... more like hummus now. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely all soft enough. It looks a little weird, but probably could have added a little bit more water, but it's actually looking like pretty good hummus consistency there. Oh wait, don't eat it yet. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? It's hummus. It's hummus. That's good. I love the sound of water when it's pouring through rocks, but like not necessarily through them, but like under them. And you can hear kind of like a an echo almost, or like a, uh, I don't know, it just sounds deeper. That This whole section of, uh, it's kind of like a dried up riverbed, but there's still water pouring through it. So it's just uh, the water's found all these little channels underneath the rocks and stuff for it to make its way down uh, to the next lake. Very cool section. I don't know what these flowers are, but I'm gonna look it up when I get home. But they're beautiful. They're all along this uh, little riverbed. We made it. Yes. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Oh, I'm excited to paddle again. I'm not paddling though. You're gonna paddle yeah. me. <laughs> I got you. I got you. We have made it to the lake in which we will be camping on tonight. We're letting the wind drift us down the lake right now. And uh, I mentioned that we were a little low on water. Sydney bought me a gift before the big trip this year. Uh, she got me a little life straw and this is my first time ever trying a life straw, and I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it actually. It's kind of cool that, I mean, I, I honestly, I just sipped it for the first time, so I can't really speak to the cleanliness of the water, but I mean, it tasted clean. I didn't get any bugs in my mouth, which is probably a good sign that it's it's filtering stuff. But yeah, we got to the other side of that portage. We had no water left. We just filled the Nalgene up, and we've just been drinking straight out of the uh, Nalgene with this straw. So pretty cool. It doesn't weigh much at all. It does have a little bit of size to it, just in terms of like, if you were trying to pack ultra light, but I, I would think that it would, could be a worthwhile uh, thing to bring on future trips. Yeah. How's that water? So good. Like crushing the Sinalgene. <laughs> <laughs> this lake's beautiful, eh? So nice. So the good news is we've escaped all the cottages, it looks like, so. I would imagine after a portage like that, we probably won't see too many people out here. We're hoping that's the case anyways. There we go. Right in those lily pads. I'm just gonna hit this. So my very first cast with the fly rod, and we got a bass. Sid's gonna take him off. No, I'm not. Oh, oh he spat it. <laughs> <laughs> I've pinched the barb on this, so it's going to be a little bit more challenging for me to uh, to bring these puppies in. First fish of the trip. You're recording, right? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> he stabbed me a little. Did he? Yeah, just a little. Yeah. 
Ooh. Yeah, it startled me. We're trying to find a campsite on the east shore because the sun is setting in the west, as it typically does. We'd like sun a little bit longer tonight. So if we camp on the east side, we'll have the sun a little bit longer. We won't have it in the morning. It'll be behind us, but I think that's okay. Ooh, I really like that. The fire pit. I am game. This feels homey to me. Wow. Okay. Okay, okay. Cheers. We made it. We worked hard, so we're having a little little treat. We earned it. Before we continue the work for the evening. Everything right here? I think so. Nice. And can you hold the red? I got the gray. I was like, yellow next. It snaps on here. Then you don't need to hold it. <laughs> Let me get this guy up first. That's the middle and then... This is my Thermarest Neo Air. I've had it for five years. This air mattress has been absolutely like home run of an item. There's no foam in it whatsoever, so it's very, very thin, packs up very well. But once you inflate this thing, it takes me about 40 breaths and you've got a nice thick, I think it's like one, one and a half inch, maybe two inches thickness air mattress off the ground. It's amazing. Now, the downside to that, this thing packs up very small, but it does take a decent number of breaths to blow it up. For those who know me, this is the most challenging part of my day usually because by the time I usually get to camp, I'm usually exhausted. And if I don't blow up my air mattress before I go in the tent, there's been many times that I've fallen asleep while blowing this air mattress up. Um, so the 40 breaths is usually uh, something I try to get done when I set up the tent so that when I crawl in, I don't need to inflate my mattress. And if I do fall asleep, hopefully all I had to do was grab my sleeping bag and that was all I forgot. But it's the only downside to this, but it is well worth the fact that this thing packs up smaller than a Nalgene and weighs nothing and is just like the tiniest little, tiniest little piece of gear. But I sleep amazing on it. Thirty-six breaths of air today. That's like, that's a good day. My my uh, my airflow must be good today or something. I don't know. That's thunder. So we might have some weather after all. All right, so since we are hearing thunder in the background, priorities have shifted a little bit. We're gonna spend a couple minutes just setting up a tarp. So we have like a little bit of a zone to hang out in up here. We may also go look for wood before it rains so that we've got some dry wood to work with. It's been so hot today. Um, be nice to get some of that dry stuff. All right, so we got the tent set up. The tarp is now set up. It's really starting to shape up to be quite the humble abode for the evening. Okay. I was thinking we could actually hear the rain coming, but can't see the rain yet. But we need wood. So I'm gonna go grab that. And then I'm going for a swim. Cause it's still roasting hot. All right, so I found this massive tree that has fallen down. And it's got some decent dead limbs coming off of it. So I'm gonna take some of these limbs off and bring them back because they seem pretty dry. And then continue on to see if I can find something, like a, a smaller fallen dead tree would be perfect right now.
All right, so the rain came in and it came in fast. Came in hot. Came in hot. Luckily, we could hear that thunder in the distance. So we got this tarp set up. We've got a completely dry zone under here, which is awesome. And we managed to get a pretty good wood haul in, even though it was looking pretty sparse out there. Uh, unfortunately, my battery died on my GoPro, so I couldn't keep filming while I was collecting wood. But I found a couple big dead trees that I was able to cut some limbs off of. And then I found a full tree uh, that was just like kind of a good size, you know, like kind of like you can grab it with your hand. So we've got a solid wood pile. And so now the rain is here. No idea how long it's going to last, but I'm still sweating. So uh, I think it might be time for a swim. We won't melt out there. No. We're already soaked. We're already soaked. Mostly in sweat. This is not sweat. I already did go in. <laughs> You're not sweating <laughs> anymore? Clear. I'm still clear. sweating. This is not sweat. <laughs> I'm soaked still, so. All right, let's go for a dip. Let's do it. So on these trips, when we don't have to go quite as far and we're not as deep in the backcountry, sometimes it's nice to bring a couple cold pops. This is a bit of a special beer. The Tragically Hip Lake Fever Lager in partnership with Big Rock Brewery. It's new and is gonna cure the lake fever that I've got right now. In other news, it was just recently the five year anniversary of the last Tragically Hip show, which was, uh, seems like it was just yesterday and is just so crazy. So it's only appropriate. Cheers to the man, the legend, Gord Downey. Rest in peace and cheers to the Tragically Hip, one of my favorite bands if not my favorite band. Also, the rain has been letting up a little bit and we're hoping, I'm actually not gonna say it. Not gonna say it. Not gonna jinx it. We're hoping something. Maybe you can piece it together. So normally I would, if I was cooking on this fire, I'd cut these a little bit longer, probably about double the size. So nice thing about that is you have less cuts to do. It also gives you a lot more real estate to put pots on when you're cooking. Today, we don't, we actually do have a pretty sizable pile of wood, but because we're not cooking on it, I just want to make, make the most of the amount of wood that I've got. And so I've cut them a little bit smaller and I'm also going to chop these guys to give me some nice dry, small pieces, like kind of kindling to get, uh, to help get the fire going. Oh my gosh, that's what you like to see. That is a dry piece of wood. We may have a sunset in a second. If we get a sunset, that'd be sweet. Like, look at how pink it's getting out there. Yeah, it is, eh? Grab this before it gets too smoky. You know there's no snap in the wood? Yeah, it's dry. It's dry. All right, so we have currently dumped our excess water in that pot. And this is where the magic's gonna be happening. My second dehydrated meal of the day. Oh, that already smells better. Old El Paso. 
Oh, it looks like legit beef now. It's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> Were you nervous? <laughs> yeah, I still am. Still am. So as we usually do, classic sauce of the backcountry is La Grill Maple Bacon. Just gonna go ahead, add this directly in. Is that fresh avocado? You know it. A little guac. And like get in there, like get a nice, yeah. This one. What do we got in there? A little, it was separated, salsa and sour cream, but now it's just a blend. A salsa sour cream blend. Put it a little lower. Wow. <laughs> That's not going to be bad. <laughs> Promise you that. Shoot, you don't like it. I hate it. Get me out of here. <laughs> Take me home. <laughs> Pretty good. Not bad, eh? The flavor is there. Flavor is there. The texture. Different, but not offensive. Yeah, like the ground beef doesn't come back a hundred, a hundred percent, but it is pretty close. No, like I'm gonna eat this, and I think <laughs> after having one bite, I'm more hungry than I thought I was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nice. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Now, time for me to dive in on mine. Do -do 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 -do. That's significantly better than when we have it without the cheese and without the sour cream and without the avocado. We were clearly hungry. We can't even talk. Good morning. It's cooled off a little bit. I think the rain kind of helped bring some of that thick, thick, heavy air that we had yesterday down a little bit. A little bit better now. I actually put my sleeping bag on this morning because I was just sleeping starfished in my bathing suit. Too warm last night. It was too warm to sleep. Sydney's still asleep. I'm going to take this opportunity to go for a little paddle and see if we can catch some more fish with the fly rod. I got a little taste of it yesterday. I'm excited to get the flies back in the water again. The wind's picking up a little bit but there's some calm bays still that uh, are just asking to be hit with some flies.
hope this looks bigger on camera. He hammered that one. The shower one, baby. Oh, don't get hung up on the wheel. Beautiful. He inhaled this. Barbless hugs. Beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful. There he goes. That was awesome. All right, moving on to a new spot. Fish on. very green ah nice this is so fun another one First smallmouth. All right, I see some more structure a little further over here. I might go do a couple more casts and then I need some coffee in my system. Got him. Hello. Is it coffee time? Are you ready for a coffee? I'm so ready for a coffee. I did not go fishing this morning. I <laughs> slept in. So here I am, rolled out of bed, ready to get the day going. Just about time, eh? <laughs> it's just that time. We are treating ourselves with the original Cabot Trail Maple Cream. Pretty stoked. Made with pure maple syrup from Canada. Yeah, that's dangerous. We need to get some more of this. Yeah. I haven't even had my coffee yet and I already know we need to get some more. I might not fill our cups because I don't know if, like I don't want to dilute the cream too much. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, that's dangerous. That's just what the doctor ordered. It is. Time to whip up a little breakfast. On the menu this morning, we are having peanut butter bacon wraps. One of my favorite breakfasts to have on a trip. Are you excited? Yes, this one I can say I'm excited for. Not nervous. Peanut it's butter can't go wrong. Bacon can't go wrong. What's there not to like? It's true. All right, so first things first. I'm the realist. First things first, I am the realist. Second, we're gonna put this peanut butter on the wrap. How much to add depends on your preference. You can go grab those plates I already said. These are gonna heat up so fast. So 
so fast. Doesn't get much better than that. Oh my god, that sweet salty mix. Love it. Sid, your first peanut butter bacon wrap. Yummy. Is it working? Mm-hmm. I'm impressed. Nice. Like you might start making these at home? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yours looks nicer yeah. than mine does. Your wrap job is better. I don't disagree. <laughs> Mine's looking pretty rough. So fast too, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you add in that Cabot Trail coffee. Alright, so we cleaned up camp, leaving it better than we found it. And that also includes leaving a nice wood pile so that the next people that are coming here have uh, something good to get going with. Yeah, another little bass for the boys. You gotta hold this though. What are we gonna do? Throw it? Across? No, 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 I'm gonna hand it to you. So, in here, you'll feel teeth around the top here. Okay. They're not. Sh they're just sandpaper. Okay. So just put your thumb under his tongue. Okay. And hold it with the bottom hand underneath. Okay. Okay. And if he jumps, like hold tight, cause you're gonna hurt him otherwise, you know. Just get your thumb in there. Yep. And hold tight. He's gonna jump, but just let him and just keep holding. Nice! You caught him on the fly, too. <laughs> this was Sid's first time fly fishing. This is the second fish I've ever caught in my life. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hey, you're catching all the big ones. This is so fun. There you go. <laughs> fish number two. So Sydney doesn't know how to cast a fly rod yet, so we've got her just trolling the line in the water and the fish are still absolutely hammering this little woolly bugger on her. So she's already got two and going for a third. Do a little drop back. And now forward. My little trophy. Yeah, your third fish. Ooh, his tongue is licking me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Some good fishing. Very good. That was fun. It was the most fish I've ever caught in my life. There you go. Overall, really good trip. Did you have fun? So fun. Short and sweet. We Short and sweet. It. Made the best of the the one nighter that we were out here for. Mm -hmm. You got to try some new foods. Everything was new. Everything was new. I had a breakfast, lunch, and dinner all new to me. Yeah. And you'd eat them again. Yeah, I would, actually. I, nice. I was thinking about it for a second, but I wouldn't. <laughs> Especially the peanut butter bacon wrap. Yeah, those are really good. But the dehydrated food didn't make the list. <laughs> like, if I didn't need to, I probably wouldn't. Okay, fair enough. But it wasn't bad. The tacos were good. Yeah, the tacos were good. Hummus is a bit of a weird texture, not gonna lie. It, I should have uh, uh, blended it mm. so it was more of a powder, because it came out with weird consistency. Yeah. Don't forget to smash that like button, drop us a comment, let us know what you thought, and subscribe if you're liking the content that's coming at you. Other than that, we will catch you on the next trip. Happy paddling. See ya.
can just recast this out. Little guy. <laughs>